same forces that kill Skat are trying to get us too. Get justice for Skat by getting justice for us all. Hey, what's up? I'm Ashley. Thank you for watching this video. In Prime Video's new series, I'm a Virgo, is weird. Probably one of the weirdest shows I've ever watched. There's nothing out here like it, but it's also intriguing, thought-provoking, and lots of fun. The series is about Cootie, a 13-foot-tall black man who at 19 escapes the guardianship of his aunt and uncle to experience and go out into the real world because all his life he was hidden. That's when he forms friendships, finds love, and navigates awkward situations, and also encounters his idol named the hero. But I'm a Virgo is about much more than the fact that Cootie is 13 feet tall. It's a layered story about isolation and institutional racism. It starts off fun, but then halfway through, gets serious. Kinda catches you off guard, but it's something that's needed. The second half of this short seven episode series is something we never get to see on TV and I'm glad it was finally shown. The story was great, the cast was great, but who stole the show from me and actually saved the day at the end of all of this was Jones. Jones, played by Kara Young, is a standout for sure. She's intelligent, incisive, and sharp-witted. She's an activist, community organizer, and one of Cootie's friends. When Jones isn't spending her time fighting people's evictions in Oakland, she's giving Cootie advice and helping Cootie navigate his first relationship and not making him feel awkward about his size. Jones also carries a special power to transport people's minds to another place. She doesn't use weapons, only her words in an intelligent way. She's definitely one of the strongest on screen. She grabs your attention and never comes off controlling, but educates us clearly on capitalism. When her friend Scat died when the hospital denied him for being broke, Jones and Cootie have different views on how they should handle their friend dying. Jones wants more of a peaceful protest where Cootie, on the other hand, wants to take a more violent approach. And because of this more violent approach, that's when Cootie comes face to face with his idol named the hero. They get into this big fight in the middle of the street. Cootie is losing. The hero is about to take him to jail, but that's when Jones pops up. She asked the hero to give her three minutes to be able to show him what he's doing wrong. That's when she uses her special power to transport his mind and take it to another place. It's kinda theatrical in a way. Since the hero thinks he's stopping crime by enforcing the laws society made on the people, Jones lets him know he's not helping anything and that he's part of the problem. She tells him, just because you're working with the lawmakers and the law holders doesn't mean what you're doing is right. With her power, she showed him how wrong his viewpoint is on society and society's norms and making sure that the hero knew that whatever he had been doing was all wrong and unjust, bringing more discrimination and outrage in society. One of the many things that she told him that stood out was capitalism necessitates unemployment and poverty, which necessitates illegal business, the regulation of which is what causes violence. How do you tell the whole working class that poverty and violence is necessitated by capitalism without them deciding to get rid of capitalism? You don't. She ends it with, if you wanted to stop so-called crime and the violence that comes from it, you'd be a revolutionary, but you're not. You're a tool that helps capitalism run smoothly. After that, the hero was shook. He finally saw all of the wrong he's been doing he let Cootie go. He didn't take him to jail or nothing like that. And he got up out of there. And that's how Jones saved Cootie because he was about to get snatched up and sent to jail. She opened up someone's eyes that was closed shut. And she just saved the whole day at the end of the day. Even though Cootie is the main focus, Jones definitely deserves more recognition. That's why I made this video. I like the fact that she solves problems with her words and not violence or weapons because... People don't know about that today. Now, why is the title of this video called My Superhero is a Black Lesbian? Well, that's because in the show, 
Jones is queer. And we see her in this relationship with this girl named Maya. We saw very little of them actually, only in episodes four and seven. For like literally two minutes each episode. But I do like the fact that it wasn't heavily focused and that we got to see more of Joan's personality, what she stood for, and what she was all about. Now, if there is a season two, I would love to see more of the gay. Love that. She out here representing. Even if it's not with Maya, because we saw them having some trouble in episode seven, but I want to see more of the gay. But let me know your thoughts on Jones, and if you've seen, I'm a Virgo. And if not, do you plan on checking it out? in the comments so we can talk about it. And if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.